Hello everybody, I'm Jim Howard from Seattle, Washington. I'm standing right in front of the Space Needle. We call Seattle the Emerald City, and my product is Kitty Cot, and it is the world's best cat perch. You can find it at kittycot.com. In the summertime, I'm a professional seaplane pilot. I fly for Northwest Seaplanes right here in Renton, Washington. Simply take the Kitty Cot out of the bag. There's an instruction sheet on the inside of the bag. Two cables are attached to the front of the kitty cot with the giant suction cups attached to that. The other two suction cups simply go into the back of the frame. Make sure that you push them all the way in. They seat real nicely. Take the kitty cot, find the place that you want it, push it level to the window, simply like that. Then take the cables with the suction cups on them, holding the perch level, and push it up to the window above the frame. And you are done. This is like a good stock. You ever see a good stock? And it goes like this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Well, now I'm on Amazon Fulfillment, and that stock is just going just like this. It's going up. Look at all of the construction in downtown Seattle. Like I say, I think all of this is Amazon, the world's largest retailer working here. Look at the cranes going on. This used to be kind of a saw, sleepy part of, of downtown, but that's over. Amazon is controlling the world. There's the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Microsoft, some of the most powerful people in the world live in Seattle. Amazon's not too far off either. Here we are going through downtown, we're heading southbound, you can see all these new high-rises going in. You can't imagine how many cats are going to be in those things. Okay, we're just on the waterfront here in Seattle. It's a gorgeous day and this is all the high-rises in downtown. It's unbelievable. There's a lot of room for kitty cots in this city, I'll tell you what. Beautiful. Look at all these nice high-rises. I'll bet you a lot of cats live in those buildings up there. Everybody needs to read Malcolm Gladwell's book, The Tipping Point. He explains it so well, how not just one person creates an invention, that one person sees other things in the world, and that's, that's, what, that's the start of the creation. Uh, when I first saw that cat perch on that window in that lumber yard, this was kind of before you know, picture phones and stuff, so I didn't take a picture. Now, now I'm, you know, video and pictures all over the place. And so I can't remember if it had arms below it or cables above it. I'm like, man, oh man. Wendy would absolutely love this. It'd be perfect. Perfect. And now I'm going to let you see a little bit more about what makes me tick in my life. Hey everybody, this is Jim, jimthepilot.com. You can find me on the web also at ifoundjim.com. What a freaking season. I like it. Okay. Gotta go straight. Hey, buddy! Yeah, look at this! Well, it's a pretty simple technique on how to make dovetail joints. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a real fast, real easy bandsaw box. This is how to braid a loop into the end of a rope. This is a video on how to make a half lap joint. If Hello, everybody. Hey. Uh. <laughs> All I do is turn up the power. And I want to show you how to make a train sound. And it goes just like this. Hi everybody, Jim, once again, how to be a dog walker with Diesel. Diesel, my buddy. Good morning everybody from your favorite hometown bank, Bank of America. I'm going to show you guys how to use a cash machine. There's this right here. Sticky mount. There it is, yep. Your wife may leave you, but the sticky mount never will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shooting with a GoPro, first of all. Very cool, very cool camera. It's a Hero 2. But this is my sticky mount. This is my chest platform. 
my uh, chest harness system, which I designed for. And I want to show you the inside of the sheep wagon. And I built this. It's beautiful. Hi, everybody. I am Jim. I found Jim.com. You know who that is? That's Diesel, the dirty dog. He's a dirty dog. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Anyway, I'm going to go and show you how I make a kitty cot. Let's see what time is it. 20 minutes to 7. I'm not even sure what day it is. Hi, everybody. I'm Jim. If you guys have a kitty cot in your house, you know who's making that kitty cot? Yours truly. And this is where they're sewn, right here in Commercial Fabrics Manufacturing. All cut. There you go. Said, so, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pursue that cat purge product. I got about four minutes in each kitty cot. Who would have ever known that this business would have come to this? And it's been there for days. Hold the frame level. Uh, yes, and good morning to you too. Air freight to Queensland, Queensland, Australia. Hi, buddy. Hi. Are you on your kitty cot? Yes, Hi, Echo. Check out your kitty cot and... Okay, welcome to my office. This is a kitty cot central here. I'm working on my videos right here. I've been using uh, YouTube Creator to make this uh, video for you guys. I think Gus has got it somewhere. I left Gus in control of my beer, man. Talk to him. I got three ass kidneys. I'm really easy, man. Oh, yeah, they're like hanging out. <laughs> 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 Have a good Bird time. Bird handler extraordinaire. <laughs> R.H.J. Pretty good footage, huh? <laughs> That's great footage. Yeah. yeah. High death of footage that you can slow mo it later. Hey, easy on me. Oh yeah, he'll just. I know he's feeling the beak. Now he's gonna start picking at your fingers. Hold the camera.